I'm Stephen Knight, I'm the creator and writer of Peaky Blinders. I had the idea a long time ago because it's based on stories told to me by my parents who grew up in Birmingham. My dad's uncles were the bookmakers who were known as the Peaky Blinders. They were kids when they were told these stories and saw these things and then I was a kid when they told me so the whole thing became heightened and I wanted to keep that mythological element to the whole thing. Uh, it's a wedding and it's Tommy Shelby's wedding to his bride and then even on his wedding day we find out that he's possibly bitten off more than he can chew that he's got him that he's been dragged into an international um, conspiracy and he and the family have to use all their resources to survive even but um, you know I want each time for the for the odds to be worse and for the enemies to be stronger in particular in this series, Tommy goes through a lot. But, you know, you have to see if they can survive. And, and Killian, we were just talking earlier, saying that in this series, Tommy is vulnerable for the first time, I think. And you see his vulnerability. Not a lot, he, he doesn't break, he doesn't fall apart, but you think it's possible he might. Well, Paddy Considine comes along, and that's a wonderful, uh, addition because he's such a great actor and he plays possibly the most evil character that's been in Peaky ever. It's the nature of who these people are that's quite interesting there. Um, well you, you, you sort of have to wait and see but they are very sinister people. In order for the family to survive they have to not follow their impulses and they have to try new ways of prevailing. So it, it's always about the family. Well, I want the characters to change in that they're becoming successful financially. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're becoming successful human beings. Can people from this background escape and gain what is considered to be a respectability? I mean, I don't know the answer myself, but I want to find out if they can get out. For me, the Black Country Museum is Peaky Blinders' home. Uh, it's not in Birmingham, it's in um, Dudley. It's beautiful. It reminds me of places I used to go when I was a kid and uh, it's just, I, I, would, I, I would happily shoot a whole feature in that location because it's so great, it's so well put together. There's factories, there's canal, there's all sorts, it's, it's like, you know, it's like a reservation of the 1920s, it's brilliant. As a writer you visit the set for fun really. My way of writing is to sit and just sounds odd but just let it happen if possible not not have a notion of what's got to happen in that scene and even if you do that be um, open to the idea that the end of the scene is going to be different something else is going to happen I have a, a pretty rough idea of where it's all going to go uh, and a pretty rough idea of where the episode is going to go but it's like with writing a feature film you, you you have your beginning middle and end sort of but then always I try and be open to it or falling apart on something different. It's so nice to be writing knowing that the actors that you're using are so good. With this, you know what they're capable of, you know what you don't have to do, you know what you have to do. It's, it's, it's really a luxury to have this quality in the cast. I've always wanted to have the last scene as the first air raid siren in Birmingham at the start of the Second World War. 